Vivemos em um mundo complexo e dinâmico, cada vez mais conectado, em que as mudanças ocorrem com velocidade. Para se manter relevante, é preciso se adaptar, se transformar. E essa transformação faz parte de uma jornada que envolve uma nova forma de trabalhar e novas competências. A Globo é uma empresa com mais de 12 mil colaboradores, presente nas diversas telas de milhões de brasileiros, falando com mais de 100 milhões de pessoas todos os dias no Brasil e em mais de 130 países. E produzindo informação e entretenimento com suas novelas, séries, realities, jornais, programas esportivos e muito mais. E era por isso que o desafio era tão grande. Transformar uma grande empresa tradicional, como muitas outras que temos no mercado, adaptando-a e preparando-a para responder ao mercado de forma ágil e com a qualidade que ele exige. Então iniciamos a transformação da TI da TV Globo, com o propósito de ter um modelo integrado de gestão, inovação e evolução das aplicações core da TV Globo, que sirva como viabilizador para acelerar a estratégia de transformação digital na produção de conteúdo. Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you all to this presentation today. I'm so happy to be here sharing with you my history um, of this journey. And uh, we are gonna talk a little bit how enterprise agility could transform the global, the largest media company in Latin America. I'm Luciana Povo, I'm the head of content production solutions at Global. And I was one of the leaders responsible for our first implementation of SAFE at Global. Let's start with some reflections. Jack Welch, the former chairman and CEO of General Electric, used it to say that you can't do today's job with yesterday methods and be in business tomorrow. When we bring this to the media context, this is how we use it to consume content on the past. All the family together, sharing the same screen, watching the same program. Now, let's bring this to the present. Isn't this the way our house looks like nowadays? Each one consuming a different content in different screens. This is the digital age. It's revolutionizing business models, changing business formats, changing the consumption formats of our consumers. In one side, we have the consumer asking for new formats and new device, wanting to participate, connected all the time. In the other side, we have our company. Well, we need to become more agile. Let's transform our company in an agile enterprise. Great. Okay, then. But it's not that easy. As Peter Drex said, culture is strategy for breakfast. You can have the best strategy for your products, for your business, but you don't change the company's culture and people behavior. Your strategy, if you don't change people culture and people behavior, your strategy might not have the results you were expecting. There's a Gartner research survey that says 62% of companies that tried to implement the Spotify framework failed precisely because they didn't take the culture issue into account. Yes, but changing culture isn't an easy job. Companies usually start with the implementation of tools, process, training, communication of values and principles. But to change culture, to change behavior, people need to understand why the change is necessary. They need a purpose. We need a change of mindset. And how do we do that? We're going to talk a little bit more in a few minutes, but don't forget what I'm going to say to you now. Start with the leadership. And all that said, let's start our journey. In the first moment comes learning and experience. This transformation process started long ago. We had important with organizational changes that were fundamental to enable us to start our agile transformation. 
First, in 2014, in TV Global, the production and broadcast company of the group at that time, we had a moment we called USTI. Those are the initials for only one IT, where we put together six different IT areas into one. There were different ITs for different business areas that became only one area. One year later, on 2015, we had this other moment that we called UST. Those are the initials for only one technology in Portuguese. At that time, we brought together IT and engineering teams. But a few years later, we had a big change in the company and we called this moment USG, one only global. At this moment, we merged five companies of the group into one. Our free-to-air TV, Global, our pay TV, Global Sachi, the digital company of the group, Global.com, and the music company of the group, Song Livre. And we merged them all in one company that now we call only Global. This transformation case we are talking today was implemented at TV Global, the free to air company of the group just before the merge of the other companies of the group. Well, to start our mission, we first set up what was our mission? Have an integrated model for management, innovation and maintenance of TV Global's application as an enabler to accelerate the strategy of digital transformation. And we called it our agile journey. Remember about cultural change, mindset, we first need a purpose. But as we know, metrics shakes behavior. And with research comparing the traditional approach with agile approach showed that were better results with agile approach, but there were still projects being canceled, being delivered late, over budget, we needed to change our focus from delivery functionalities and projects to delivery value. We had to focus on the results. If we see the Gartner forecast, it was made more than three years ago, I think four years ago. It says that until 2023, agile program and product management will replace project management as the dominant approach to effective business change and results. And what do you think? Is that forecast coming through? We're in the year 2023. But the results of these surveys and metrics alone were not enough for us to convince the company C-level to believe and support this change that the IT team was proposing. We needed other arguments and the best argument we brought to the C-level was the extra potential savings in our budget with the turn of the model to a new operational model based on safe and product management. If we go back to those moments uh, that we talked before, in 2014, when we merged all the IT areas, we did have a saving because of the synergies and we called that our application version one operational model. At that time, we had to structure the teams. We use the traditional delivery model. Uh, we are just organizing the areas. Just one year after we had this merge of IT and engineering, and we have uh, what we call application version two operational model. At this time, we started piloting some agile projects in order to gain a little bit of experience with this methodology. And we also had some more savings here because of the synergy of the teams and solutions. But then in 2019, when we had this big change of the unification of the companies, it was just after our first case of safe implementation and we called it application version three where we put the product mode to work using SAFE as our guide. So we have another extra saving. And that's why we're here today talking to you because this was the, the key factor to have the approval of the C-level to go on. Well, at this moment, most of you might be wondering 
but how did they get there? What were the steps to make the transformation? So let's see. Here is our roadmap timeline for our first safe implementation at TV Global. We started our journey on March 2017. As you can see before, we actually turned the key to the new model with 15 agile projects, almost 2,000 hours of training, and 10 structuring changes. I brought here today the main miles of this roadmap. First of all, we chose a partner to help us in this big challenge and decided to adopt SAFE. Our first step was the training, beginning with IT leadership. Remember what I said about the leadership? Yes, we need to have the leadership trained before in order to support the team and understand what was going on. So we started with IT director and managers, then supervisors, then the team. We also chose some change agents to go deeper in SAFE and be the focal point for each area. The change agents with the creation of our Agile Center of Excellence with some uh, Agile codes were a key point to support the change throughout our journey. During this year, we chose some more projects using Agile methods in order to gain more experience. We did more training during the year with the business areas and also with the planning and the strategic area. It was not only IT change. We adapted the budget cycle model to a product approach. We also reviewed the application support model from a model full outsourcing with service level agreements to a model where the support team was now part of the product team. And of course, we worked a lot on the value stream mapping and had our first arts defined by the end of this year. After that, we created our agile product portfolio management and with all those steps done, we had the approval of the C-level to move on on December that year. Well, now starts 2018. And this year was the transition year. We had some important structuring changes that had to be made in order to enable the transformation. Starting with contracts, we need new contracts new model of contracts, capacity-based that would enable the allocation of the new skills of professionals in our product teams. Another important step was the repositioning of our partners in order to adapt them to the new operational model and reach the savings this model could bring. We reviewed our outsourcing contracts, reducing them, making the necessary changes to adapt to this new operational model. But it also have another problem. We need physical space for everybody. Now we have more people working on site at Global. We wanted at this first moment that the teams were working together at Global and we had to do a physical space review in order to be able to have everybody together. Another essential and difficult change was the organizational structure conversion with HR. After we finished the team organization and new roles definition, they started to run the new roles on their new areas, but the official structure conversion with HR came some months later. We did more training for the team preparation, now focused on their new roles. And by the end of the year, we decided to do our first PI experience. We called it a simulation. And just after that, on the first PI planning of uh, 2019, there was our official launch of our first arts in the company. And this PI planning, we have everybody on board and also the business together, different from the PI planning simulation that was only the IT team, uh, just understanding how, how it works. Our initial approach was to bring from a traditional approach in IT where we had development teams, pilot gates and pilot teams doing the tests. And we changed this, uh, this first approach to a bimodal model. So we have teams working uh, with projects and teams working in this new model that we call product lines, where everybody here, the support, the maintenance was done with these teams. 
Well, did you realize how hard it was to make this change possible? It was not an easy journey. Structuring change for itself are usually difficult, takes a lot of time and energy. People get anxious. In this case, we had 52% of people change completely the way they use it to work. Our main challenges were to keep the planned activities to ensure deliveries while doing the transition to the new models of operation, and third, mobilize and engage the new team to the new challenge. Well, after all these challenges comes the other years. What did you learn from all that change? Agile is more about reducing complexity and opening the hatch for simplicity and agility. It's difficult to evolve organizations' maturity when initiatives and the areas of the company work by silos. We have those product teams, we have the, the business areas, but they, they are looking for their own objectives and goals. It's essential to change from a loose coupling model with the business, where the end-to-end -end process value delivery is driven by technology, and we have communications and alignment problems, conflicting goals. Two, this business-led model in which technology is a fundamental part of the delivery of value. Using the Lean Portfolio Management concepts, aligning strategy to all levels, defining and measuring OKRs are the key success factors to really align technology with the delivery of business value with everyone speaking the same language. We transform goals into results. There's more business and tech teams accountability and a fluid and more effective communication. It's fundamental that decisions become taken as a consequence of the business results. And it's only possible with business and tech teams working together as a unique team with the same objectives and being driven by the same results. And what's the role of the corporate governance in this scenario? Remember, Jack Welch, you can't do today's job with yesterday methods. Yes, that works here also. They had to change from project approach to a business results approach. Instead of monitoring delivery execution, they had to monitor the results of the strategy execution. Strategy needs to be shared to all levels. And instead of hundreds of projects and plan-driven execution, focus on a limited whip and value-driven execution. Yes, the journey was not easy, was long, is still changing and being evolved continuously. But the results we reached after one year running this new operational model were really great. At the end of the first year, we had 20% of reduction in development cost. That was the saving that I told before. An historical jump of 30% in our engagement 86% of the maximum degree of satisfaction in business areas, corporate recognition of the model. The case was recognized by Gardner, Harvard Business Review, Agile Trends in Brazil, and also Scale Agile. And more than 15 benchmark studies were done with other companies in Brazil and uh, in the world. So, we said at the end that we had to seduce by the pocket, but at the end, we enchanted by the results. Now I bring to you our current state of the safe implementation that I've just shared with you. We have four arts, studio management, content production platform, musical rights and audience, artistic talents, all day related to content production process. In these four arts, we have 15 squads and more than 200 people involved. But we never stopped moving and we are traveling now on our MetaTech company journey. 
bringing more areas to this integrated model where technology and business teams work together, sharing the same objectives and goals. Making a little recap of our moments and where we are now, we started with our bimodal approach focused on TV Global. It was a bottom-up initiative sponsored by our IT director. With the merge of the other companies of the group, new value streams were created focused on direct-to-consumer and advertising, this time sponsored by the C-Level. And now we are moving forward in our journey, bring all other areas of the company to work at the same digital value stream mode that was proven to be the best path for a more sustainable and agile enterprise, the new global. Here we get to the end of this presentation. I'd like to thank you all for attending this session with me. It was a pleasure to share with you a little bit of our history. And it would be great if you could share your feedback in this session with us. Thank you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>